What is going on you guys? Wonder Bro here. Today I want to point something out to you. And what I want to point out is this. Anxiety puts you into survival mode. It's your built-in protection mechanism, right? It's there to save your life. That is what explains all of those weird and odd symptoms. We'll start with visual. Things start to look a little uh, vivid. They, they seem, it's almost like somebody turned the color up, okay? It's almost like everything becomes sharper. And that's there because you're in survival mode. Your anxiety is turned on. It's there to make you more aware of things going on in your surroundings because anxiety is trying to save your life, um, you know, from this danger. It doesn't know that you're all worked up because of it. But your vision starts to get more vivid. Colors seem to get brighter. And your vision starts to get uh, sharper. And that's because you're looking for dangers. You're staying alert for dangers. It's turning your senses up. So you have a better chance of survival. So that explains that. The rapid heartbeat, it gets your adrenaline pumping. It's preparing you to fight or run against a life-threatening danger. So that explains the rapid heartbeat and the urge to want to fight or flee and all that extra adrenaline. It's there to save your life. All of these odd little symptoms can be traced back to the fact that it's anxiety, to the fact that you're in survival mode. To the fact that anxiety is trying to prepare you and save you from some sort of danger. All of these symptoms that we hate so much, they're there to save our life. Only there's no real danger, so we're focused on the symptoms. If there was a real danger, we'd be focused on it and not the symptoms. Therefore, we wouldn't be worried about anxiety. But because there's no real danger, we're focused on the symptoms, and that scares us because the symptoms are strong. They're there to save your life. Of course, they have to be strong. Uh, but my point in today's video, you guys, is that when you're in survival mode, everything starts to change a little bit, and you get all these symptoms, but you don't have to be afraid of them because they're there to save your life. So for them to hurt you somehow would be the total opposite of the entire point of anxiety. So it's impossible. It's just not going to happen. These symptoms are harmless, but that is why they're there. I wanted to explain why they are there, and of course we've covered this before, but I wanted to put it in a new way, give you guys a new perspective. You're in survival mode. That explains the extra adrenaline. That explains the pounding heart. You know, it's preparing you to fight or flee, you know, to run away. So of course it's going to give you this adrenaline to get your ass moving. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, you guys, these symptoms are harmless. They're there to save your life. Why would they harm you? That would make no sense whatsoever. Dedicate to acceptance. Don't fight with these feelings and symptoms. They are harmless. Don't argue with the thoughts. They are unimportant. All right, you guys, it's just a tired, sensitized mind giving you these thoughts. It's just an anxious, in survival mode body giving you these feelings. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, share. I hope you have a wonderful day. Continue to use acceptance. Dedication is key. You can't use it once, twice, three times and be done. Continue using it. Eventually you will recover. I wish recovery was a faster process, but that's just not how the body works and I'm not going to bullshit you. Dedication. Like, subscribe, share. I'll say it again. And until next time, as always, stay awesome.